We are going to be making soft plastics with coffee. Mm, that should be good, right? <sighs> Smells like morning and a little bit of plastic. Oh, there's some fish on. You're jacked up on caffeine. Well, my underwear and pants are now wet. That's a sensation I haven't felt in a long time. Gosh, holy crap, he wanted that worm. What's going on, you bunch of crazies? I'm back again. I really shouldn't call y'all crazies. I'm the crazy one because I keep doing these crazy bait making videos. And we're back at it again. We're in the lab. Today we got a crazy one. You've probably already seen it from the title. But we are going to be making soft plastics with coffee. That's right. Old Dunkin' Donuts original blend medium roast because I'm not sure the bass can handle a dark roast. I'm not sure they can handle a Colombian blend. I'm gonna make a crawl style bait, like a little bug style bait. I'm also gonna make some finesse worms. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Plastisol, no colorant, nothing added, just straight medium blend Plastisol. We're gonna turn it clear, 350 degrees. We're gonna dump coffee grinds in it, straight coffee grinds. It should change the color a little bit, I think. I'm pretty sure it should. And uh, then we're gonna shoot it, and then we're gonna go fish with it. See if we can't get these fish on a little morning brew. It's late, actually. It's pretty late, so I gotta... We gotta make this quick. Let's go. All right, so first and foremost, we've got our measuring cup. This bait plastics, Plastisol, that y'all see just in the corner of your screen there. We're gonna dump about a cup in there, or half a cup. Really, half a cup should be where we need to go, but we're gonna go to a full cup. Why not? It's just coffee grinds. I mean, how many people have fished with that in their lives? All right, now we're gonna put this in the microwave for about, I don't know, we're gonna start for three minutes and see what happens. There you go, was white, now it's clear. So we're gonna take this guy, dump it in there. I mean, that should be good, right? That's like a K cup worth. Smells good. Mmm, foamy. I don't quite know what's going on here. But something's happening. We're gonna need to let that simmer down because it's got a lot of air bubbles in it. That's no good. If you saw a video or two ago when I did fish flakes, this kind of reminds me of a, of that. I do think the more I stir it though, the plastic is turning that brown. So I think the longer we do this, the better. You know what? I'm actually gonna zap this in the microwave. I think that may help. So let's do that. Let's zap this in the microwave real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I zapped it in the microwave for another minute and it totally did what I thought it was gonna do. I can't really turn this sideways so y'all can see it. You know what? Let me take you off the tripod and I'll show you. So super white and bubbly up top, but look at the bottom. Like, nice brown color. My goal for putting this in the microwave was to draw those bubbles up to the top. Just because you got to think about it, if I warm this up, that liquid's going to become a little bit more uh, liquidy. So if I make it really hot, like around the 400 mark, just before it starts to burn, those bubbles are a little bit more free to rise to the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my injector, I'm going to go below the bubbles and suck up what I need. Um, that way I don't get any bubbles in the injector, just like this. If I go past that bubble line, I've got no bubbles in the bottom down there. So as long as I take this nice and easy, I won't have any bubbles in my injector. Doing the crawl first. And hopefully we can get at least one of these finesse worms done. All right, that should do it. Let's hope for the best. Let's open up this crawl creature bait type deal. Boy, this thing's always so hard to open. Break the seal, Brett. Break the seal. Ooh, that's hot. I'm, I'm going to be honest. That ain't too bad. I'm smelling it. It does smell like coffee. Like straight up. It smells like coffee. That is pretty cool. It gives it like a little bronze color. Pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's not a bad color, guys. I'm telling you, that's really not a bad color. All right, folks, so I think we've got a good assortment of little baits here, these coffee baits. I'm pretty, <sighs> smells like morning and a little bit of plastic. I'm pretty excited. I think that we can get bit on those. I'm not sure how the scent is gonna work on them. I don't know, I've just got high hopes. I feel very confident. I feel like the Duncan gods are with me here. I mean, we didn't go crazy. We went original roast. So, I mean, surely 
surely we can catch some fish on it, right? We're gonna jump to the pond real quick. Let's go. Whew. Super precarious. Now, if we can just get in the water and fish, we'll be good. All right, boys and girls, so we've got some storms either coming in or leaving. I haven't even paid attention. I can tell you there's been a couple lightning strikes close, so that is a little worrisome. The reason I'm so excited is because we have these coffee baits. I don't know if you've got the good chance to look at them back at the shop. Look at this. That's not a bad looking worm, man. It's a little translucent, yes, but it's got that coffee stain to it. And I honestly think the coffee grounds add a ton. I mean, look at that. Those look delicious. I've got a drop shot. I've got a Texas rig. That's all I brought. And we're gonna hope we don't get struck by lightning. Let's start off with a Texas rig. And let's do the old wormy worms. Looks delicious, doesn't it? I think I got one in the weeds back there. Uh-oh. We're about to get rained on, folks. I had something biting me. Oh, bless. We did have a fish on, by the way. I mean, look at that worm. I'm hoping for a, a not a heavy rain, because that would suck. Well, my underwear and pants are now wet. That's a sensation I haven't felt in a long time. So that's, that's lovely. Gosh, did y'all see that? Holy crap, he wanted that worm. Oh my gosh, I almost lost my rod. That has to be the most insane fish catch I've ever had. I was reeling it in, I just had it laying on the tip of the boat and this guy came up and smoked it on the edge of that grass. He hit and ran. Buddy, you're jacked up on caffeine. Good gracious, get out of here. Holy crap, that was, that was intense. I didn't even know what happened. That buddy like struck on top water on a worm. Really just had it sitting just like this on the edge of the water. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it was reeled in. It was just like, like this, barely in the water. And he just came up and smoked it. Note to self, get the worm out of the water. That was crazy. I've never had anything like that happen before. That was insane. All right, we do not have water on the lens yet. That's good. I'm gonna keep fishing this worm just a little bit longer. Then we'll switch over to the uh, little beaver style bait. Oh, there's a fish on. Get out of there. Come here, buddy. Come here, little buddy. How are you hooked? You're hooked very weird. Like you're hooked upside down but I will take it. Another one, Texas rig, little hunchback, bud. These guys are getting thicker in here. They're not giants, but they're getting thicker. Uh, you have to be, I don't know. I don't even want to guess, but thick back on that thing. I mean, really thick. I think I'm gonna put the worm down and we're gonna go with the beaver style bait now. Thanks, bud. Let's get out our little beaver bait here. Tons of little appendages. Let's break those apart. Sorry, y'all can't see anything. I'm looking straight down because, you know, I'm such a professional. Doing the same thing here. We're just going to Texas rig this. I mean, now that right there, a little shot of caffeine. That's your medium roast for sure. That's the new name of this, this color, medium roast. Heck, I could get out the drop shot and fish this. Creature bait on a drop shot. It has been done before and it has worked before. It's not exactly my idea of a good idea, but it's an idea. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. That's what I think that's gotta be the audible call here. We gotta do something different. Just had an ant on my neck. Like, can you imagine real quick, just imagine for me a minute, like that ant waited. Oh, geez, I got more. But you're telling me the ant waited the entire time. Like he was one of them ants that said, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go all the way up 
I'm starting at the feet. I'm working myself all the way up to the neck. I'm going to be super stealthy. And when I get there, I'm just going to bite him. There's always that one ant that does crap like that. All right, come on. Let's get, let's get us a bassy bass. So I'm abandoning this now. We're going back to the flipping. Now it's raining on us again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. The beaver style bait, complete and utter. Beaver style bait, a complete bust. But the worms, the worms did pretty good. Well, that was interesting. So the worms definitely worked. Um, how well they worked, I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to be the one to judge, aren't I? But I don't think the, I don't think the coffee had anything to do with it. I think if I would have left the coffee in the uh, liquid plastic saw a little longer, it would have done a better job for me. I think it would have uh, definitely darkened, made for a richer roast and a worm. But if you want to try out the worms I didn't use, because I've still got a full pack of them, I'm gonna give those away. All you have to do to win them is be subscribed, leave a comment on what you thought of them, and smash the like button. Three simple, simple things. It'll be announced in the description of the next video. So if you are subscribed, or if you're not subscribed at this point, go ahead and put the ding dong notifications on so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And then you can go check the description, see if you want it. And you guys know how to get in contact with me. All those links are listed below. Instagram, email, Facebook, all that good stuff. You can try for yourself. See if you can get bit on them. Hopefully you can land like a PB or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you've got any other crazy ideas or suggestions for videos, go ahead, leave those in the comments as well. These crazy baits I've been doing have all been subscriber driven. So I need those ideas coming in because I can't think of this on my own. I've got an Alabama education here. We're not working with a whole lot up in this brain. If you guys enjoyed it, again, smash the like button and I will catch you on the next one. Later.